Hey Wargamers, Minigame Painter here. Um, the reason for our logo, people have asked, is our both of our schnauzers, Bolter on the left, Buster on the right, enjoying the sun on this lovely Saturday morning. Hey guys, today I'm going to go over the uh, duh green one uh, parts that I've gotten in the mail recently and part of the projects that I'm going to be using these in but uh, check these guys out uh, the green one and it's duh with a dash green dash one dot com there it is at the bottom and these guys are a newer company um, and they've been making parts for just a few months, but they make some great stuff. So they're going to be coming out with a lot of different things over the next couple of months. Uh, probably for until the end of time. But the first ones that I actually got off them were these, uh, these wheels. They're armored wheels. Um, they're perfect scale for the orc models. If you guys have trucks or building pretty much anything. Um, right now I'm working on a battle wagon that I swapped out the front tires for these armored vehicles. Eventually I even thought about doing maybe all four or just keeping the tracks which I've modified. So so this is kind of a nice project and it looks really well uh, good and it fits the wheel well nice. So and then I understand that they're working f with a chassis conversion for these tires so you can attach them to trucks and battle wagons, but um, even if you don't want to use that, it's pretty easy. You just chop off the old tires and uh, just drill one quick pin and glue it in, and it seems to work really well. So I've had no issues with that. So um, they sell these in sets of four. So whether you do two trucks or swap it out or just kind of intermingle with your other tires, it's really worth it. And they're really cheap too, so I suggest going at them. And the detail, both on the inside, the track, all the rivets are done really well. You, some, um, some other companies, the pockets, there's air bubbles along the rivets, but they did a really good job with, uh, with these casts. So that was product number one. Uh, product number two is uh, Big Shooters. Um, these kind of uh, are more of a vehicle shooter than uh, Big Shooter than the Orcs handheld ones. But um, these look really good. I mean the detail is very nice. Like I said, all the rivets are intact. There is some uh, minor cleaning up, but overall and this was it, this came pre-drilled too. So this is some flash that you need to cut off, but great parts. So it comes in a set of two big shooters. So I might end up putting it on the the truck itself. And uh, the last one that I'm super excited about that I need to plan a lot more is like a big lava. So this is an artillery piece. It comes in multiple pieces. Um, each of these mounting brackets as well as uh, the big cannon is one piece. So you can position it however you want, whether you want it on a vehicle or on a big, like, um, like a big Titan if you really wanted to, put these guys on the shoulders or on the arms or you could mount it upside down. And then it comes, like all of this, look at the, the detail of, So I mean everything came out really uh, good, so they, they made some pre-checkers for you because checker, painting checkers is kind of a pain. It also comes with a hatch on the back so you can either have it open or closed. Um, there's still some, uh, just from the flash from the mold I need to take off to make sure it flush. And then it comes with some extra shells that you can play around with. So I had an idea where I'm more than likely going to drill this out a little bit more and maybe have a grot that's putting this in maybe take off some of the front and just have a grot kind of like maybe one or two grots kind of pushing this in but we'll see 
So they make some great product. I highly suggest them. Um, you know, shipping was great. Customer service is really fast. And usually within a short period of time, they get back to you. So, cheers. Um, I am going to be trying to finish this guy up soon. I'm still debating whether I'm going to keep this back track or not. Um, I did modify the track to make it a little bit more grungy with added plastic card around it. Maybe I'll even add in a couple of um, work in progress pictures. So again, these are the, the, the green one website with dashes in between. And check them out. All right, have a good one.